about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for left Santa de la Cruz, um, the Marina La Palma, and we are on our way to La Gomeras, and after that we're going to do Tenerife. So yesterday afternoon we left um, to go to the next island, La Gomeras, and this is what we had. spot there that we spent the night with and now today we're going to hit this area again it's an uh, exhilaration zone so this is going to carry on for about three hours and then we're going to hit the other corner and then hopefully do a run for the next island
we are arriving at Porto de Viltas. I'm sure it's pronounced differently. On the island of Legomeras. So we're going to start on this northern tip and work our way around. And we are approaching the anchorage. And there's three little boats here already. But what a sweet spot. That looks amazing. Oh, another one. Quite a busy little anchorage. The entrance to the little marina that we will go into with Tipex. But those big ass fairies also come in here, so you have to lay low. And it's the first time that we've got neighboring boats that's actually got people on board. Normally we anchor next to either no boats or boats without people on. And there's one, <laughs> two, three, four boats around us and they all have people on it. And our trip here started off last night when we planned it. It was going to take us 20 hours to do 35 miles, something like that. Um, because yes. there yeah. was no wind. And that's when we decided that we will not do that. We will actually anchor out of the marina because we don't want to spend more marina fees than we need to. So we went outside and find we, we did find an uh, anchor spot, it was, but it was dodgy. The anchor did not hold, but I figured all the fishermen here is just dropping the hooks on a, on a, on a mooring ball, little ball, and just drop the hook and they don't go anywhere. So they don't float, so I, I, I just figured we will also float. And with a 40 kilogram anchor, I don't think we will float. Plus, and with 100, 100 meters of chain. <laughs> I don't think we will go much further, but we put a lot of anchor drag, drag alarms out. So yesterday it was saying no wind for the whole day, so we were supposed to be at anchor the whole day. And then this morning fire up the weather report on, on a phone and it's just like, wow, there's lots of wind right now. We need to take it because there's a system not really a system, it's something moving through between the two islands. And I thought we could use that to go to, to the other island. So it was anchors up and we left. <laughs> yeah, and then for the first, I, think it's, I would say maybe the first five miles, nothing, zero. And then the wind picked up nicely. And just like that, wind is here and we are sailing. Doing eight knots and 14 knots of wind, true wind. <laughs> this is just awesome. And because there was no wind the last two days, the sea is absolutely flat, so we are flying. Just amazing how fast Sisu can get up to speed. It's just Yes, awesome. <laughs> you, one moment you have the motors on, next moment like uh, maybe you can start switching the motors off the next moment. There we go, fast. And yeah, we had between 15. Sometimes it reached 20, but most of the time it was 15, 16, and we were doing quite nicely. Yeah. The whole time around 8 knots average, I would say, 8.5 8 around there. 
but the sea state was nice. And the sea state was just perfect. So we were just flying. It was actually very, very nice. Very for a change. It was a nice sail between the islands where there's also an acceleration zone. <laughs> no acceleration this time. But the wind is again from the complete wrong side. <laughs> The, the prediction was saying it's going to from the back a little bit northish but more northwest uh, west and then it came from the south <laughs> but it was nice like a ghost town. Like it is nada. Buildings but nobody else. the resort then this is the winches to bring the ferry in I think here it's not working anymore <laughs> Let's 
literally built their houses in, in the mountains. They used the natural cave and then they just put a facade up. Yeah, I'm going to try and take you inside. It's going to be a bit bumpy. Let's find the front door. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got a door. But this is basically a room. A natural cave. And then they build it up with walls. what we saw from on top so it's a huge place Portuguese chicken braai by South Africans. Because <laughs> we braai. <laughs> in, in Spain. <laughs> Yo, there's a lot of contradictions there. <laughs> On a Seychelles flag boat. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 